off a third place finish at the k and King Classic, which has positioned you into number 22 in the national rankings this week. What did you like from the first meet of the 2019? Uh, you know what, to open up 2019 in Cancun, you know, it was a lot of fun. That's a great meet to be at and, uh, you know, but it, it's also a challenge, you know, to travel to a foreign country. What I liked about the meet was the fight that they put in. You know, we had some adversity. We started on bars, um, which is right now our most inconsistent event in our training. Uh, and it showed in our performance. Um, but then they came back on beam and floor and vault and uh, did an incredible job. And uh, so I like to see that fight, you know, and uh, we're getting ready for Pittsburgh this coming up weekend. And we learned that, you know, what we need to fix and the little details that we've got to attack. And uh, we had practice yesterday and, you know, practice again today. And um, they're definitely working on it. At Pitt, you will start the meet on B. Knowing that that's one of your stronger events, how does that kind of uh, make view, may have you view this meet? Uh, you know, Beam's a tough event to start on, um, but it is our most consistent and we have the most depth on that event right now. And uh, it was our comeback event in Cancun, so I like the confidence that we had uh, when we were there. And I like the confidence in our training so far this week and going into it. Um, that being said, you know, Beam's always the great equalizer uh, that a lot of coaches call it. And uh, so we have to go in and we have to be aggressive. And uh, that's our goal this week is to train and be aggressive. We saw two freshmen make the lineups in Cancun. Some of your returning gymnasts added events to their to their repertoire in Cancun. What are, what are your lineups? How are they shaping up so far? Uh, it, it, that's an uh, interesting point to make. <laughs> you know, we do have a lot of depth. Um, vault right now is not a lot of depth. Um, as far as the lineups go, but uh, we're going to keep changing them up and uh, the team has a really uh, great attitude about it this year. Um, you know, as far as switching up the order, you know, learning for score building purposes and confidence, you know, who can wait a little bit longer to go, who needs to go first. Uh, you know, Esperanza did a great job this past weekend uh, in Cancun opening up as a freshman on bars. Uh, first event, first meet of the year to go 9-8 was awesome but uh, as coach as a coaching staff we have to make sure that you know we're looking at the, all the different options and uh, refining them as we go through the season the lineups you're not at the WBU Coliseum on Saturday but you are in the Pittsburgh area <laughs> close to Morgantown are you hoping to get some fans out um, to the Fitzgerald Fieldhouse and just kind of feel a little bit of comfort with your fans in the stands Absolutely. You know, I love going to Fitzgerald and, uh, you know, the University of Pittsburgh has always been a great rival of ours. And uh, I'm looking forward to winning this coming up weekend. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. <laughs> and uh, it better come true. Um, that being said, yeah, I hope that the fans will show up. And uh, it's an easy road trip. Fitzgerald is great. Yeah, and Pittsburgh always does a great job of hosting a wonderful meet.